What is up guys? So as you may know, as programmers, we are expected to type fast. And in today's video, I just want to show you guys how fast I type as a programmer. And I feel like I'm actually a much slower typer than most programmers, but this will be one way to verify how fast I type. So to test it, I went ahead and typed in typing test into Google. And that's how I ended up here. And the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and change this to difficult because we're not amateurs anymore. It's time to put our skills to the test. I've been training all my life for this. And let's go ahead and get started immediately. And let's see, where do I put the text? Ah, there. Let's go ahead and change this to pro because we are professionals. And this looks like it's going to start as soon as I type. So let's go ahead and get started and type in on July the 7th, 2000. I'm terrible with numbers. Joel Strasa broke the record for the most toothpick in a beard. Oh, get back there. He took three hours and 13 minutes to put numbers again. I can't do numbers. Toothpicks into his beard. The previous record was 3157 almost. My computer's lagging now. Did you know that the world record for farthest arrow shot using feet was achieved on... Okay, so now we can go ahead and see how fast I went. And I have an awful word per minute ratio. Right now it says I'm fluent, but that was absolutely brutal. I got nowhere, I made a lot of errors, but that was actually a very good warm up for the mode that I wanted to show you guys, which is the coding mode. And this actually puts my skills to the test. So we're going to be doing it for one whole minute, and this is going to be essentially judging me on how fast I can type in code. And if I remember correctly, this is going to be based on JavaScript. So let's go ahead and try it. So looking at this is already quite brutal. I need to also remind myself that I'm not going to have the autocomplete for the parentheses or for anything I open. So let's just get this over with. Let's get started by typing dot slash input dot sh, and that's going to equal dummy dot text. And then we have to do var replace is equal require gulp I have no idea what any of this even means. Replace var car is going to equal this open angle bracket type quotation marks. Put the forward. I can't do that. Okay, do the forward model focus. And then caller is going to be set to white. This feels like I'm doing a tutorial. And we need to do some SQL query. So select from pets. And let's create this boolean. No! Okay, so it's not as bad as I expected. I actually have 27 words per minute with a 100% accuracy when it comes to coding. The truth is that's probably going to be a bit faster in PyCharm or IntelliJ because they have an editor that helps us complete our words. So I can imagine that being maybe up to 40 or even 50 when I'm working in the editor. But if I had to write this in a notepad, you can see right here that I am probably the slowest coder in the universe. And just to make myself feel good, let's go ahead and use this easy text test. And let's start typing immediately. I'm already quite depressed with my typing skill. I felt like that was pretty good. And it looks like I can type easy sentences at 77 words per minute. But as you can see there, more or less, that is my overall typing speed. And this was with no prior preparation. This is just how I type when I have to do something like this. So I welcome you to go ahead and try this for yourself and to post the results in the comment section down below. I'm very curious to hear how fast you guys type. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wish you guys a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys in the next video.